So, but you understand how that would establish yeah. the no, actual I, I support idea, yeah. for what you're saying. Yeah. showing that you moved it out onto the street and were ready to go on your trip when you discovered that it was broken and then you took it and over to get it fixed, left it unattached, came back and went on your trip. So that will help me establish that timeline, which is what your position is. Well, well my, yeah, my position is that the, the timeline was when, when we, you know, the period between the time I got the ticket. I, I see what you're getting at, but you know that. I mean, you're presupposing that I'm I, I'm storing a vehicle on the street ahead of that, which you know. No, I'm trying to rule that out. So that would that would support the position you're taking. But there was no ticket issued to me prior to that. There was no nothing saying that this vehicle's on the street. That's right. So we're only talking about the time that the vehicle was ticketed, right? If you want to provide this to me, it would be helpful for your case. If yeah. you don't want no. to provide it to me, then you don't need to. No, ma'am, I'm I'm not denying. I, I will provide that information. Up to you. I'm just trying to, to, to say, you know, uh, that this issue centers around this particular period of time, not like you're saying a week prior to that. If there, uh, if there had been some okay. evidence that I was storing the vehicle on the street, I can understand that, but... No. The vehicle was stored on the street at the time mm -hmm. that you were ticketed. Okay. And on you're what day was that, though? The 16th. Okay. And you're asking me... And you're specific. saying that you... that it was there, no fault of your own, because the axle had just broken, and you were out getting it fixed. No, I... We're talking about trailer hitch, not axle here. Oh, excuse me. Trailer hitch. Okay. Not being a mechanic, I misspoke. All right. Sorry. All right. No, no problem. Okay. So, what I'm trying to establish is that that, in fact, is true. Uh huh. Because all we have is just, you know, your statement when you come in. No. I mean, I. My statement. Okay, you're, you're losing me on that one particular issue here, but. Uh, so we're, we're okay. So you're saying that that the ticket was issued. If if, if you were a uh, unethical person, uh -huh. or not a law-abiding person, which I'm assuming you to be, so okay. if you weren't, and you got 
you had left that trailer sitting out there for a week or whatever. Uh -huh. And then you suddenly got a ticket on it. Yeah. So you went in and got the hitch fixed on the same day that you got the ticket. Okay. Uh, the fact, and so your answer to me is, or what you're saying to me is, that it just happened, you did it as expeditiously as you could. And what I'm saying is this will help to show that. Yeah, no, I agree. That would establish my, uh, my uh, intent, but not, you know, you're asking me to defend something that I'm not being charged with, which is the previous day. What? I mean... No, you weren't charged with it. I'm asking you to provide information that will support the position, the story, the information that you provided. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I, <laughs> I understand what you're asking for, and I'll get that. Okay. Then, <clears throat> when I receive that, let's see, how long do you think that will take? You have to put a time period here. Uh, well, Two weeks be enough? Oh, God, yeah. Okay, so why don't we say by the 20th of October? Uh, yes. Okay. And it's going to be, uh, I'm making a notation for myself, so I can't find my reservation. When I receive that then, I will take all of this under submission and review it and make a decision. Okay. And the decision basically will be whether there were extenuating circumstances that should prompt me to dismiss it. And then you'll get a letter saying that it's been dismissed. Did you already pay for it? Did you already pay the penalty? We won't let you do that unless you plead some sort of a hardship case and okay. probably have to show me your empty pockets in person or something. <laughs> Is that a yes? A uh, yeah. Okay. So if you had already paid for it, then you would get a refund and gone. Is that like about two, three weeks maybe? Yeah, checks are cut off Friday. Okay. So that's the timeline. Then in the event you're not satisfied. No, I have got because oh. all I have the authority to do is either uphold it or dismiss it. Yeah. Okay. So if you're not satisfied with that decision, then you can appeal it a third level, which is to the traffic court. And yeah. there'll be information in the letter that will tell you how you do that. Okay. No, I, I researched that already. Okay. okay. Good. Any All other right. questions? Um, not that you would have uh, authority to talk about, actually, <laughs> based on what you just said. So. All right. Any information that you want to provide? Anything further? Um, no, I, I don't think so. Okay. You said you work for the county, right? I said I'm contracted by the Sheriff's Department to provide okay. marine services. All right. Thanks. Okay. I understand that. I got you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Have a good day. All right.